What's up, TW fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New Attack Warehouse. It's pre-spawn season. We got a bunch of hog baits for you today. Uh, a bunch of big glides, uh, some big umbrella rigs. Let's jump right into it. So we got some new glide baits from Gank Rap. Actually, not new glide baits, but one we're pretty stoked about. New TW exclusive colors joining the uh, the Join and Claw glide bait series. We got them in the 230 and the 178 size. So these were a couple colors that that we wanted to create. Uh, a bunch of the guys in the office put our heads together and thought of a few colors that just weren't in the Gancraft line that we really, really wanted to see. So the first one here is Brilliant Trout, and the second one here is the TW Gorgeous Shad. So really, really cool colors. Just something uh, missing. You know, we weren't really happy with all the trout colors that, that Gancraft had to offer, and there was just something else kind of that we wanted to add to it. You know, more of a green, green pumpkin, dark back, a uh, real silver finish, just a little bit of pink on the side. And then we went with that gorgeous shad color. Just giving you an overall, you know, shad color profile. It's going to work great anywhere in those lakes where you don't have trout in it, but you have big gizzard shad, big thread fin, something where you want to mimic a big bait fish versus a trout. So anywhere in the country, pretty much got you covered. Got, like I said, we got both sizes. So if you're looking for, you know, 178 size up to 230, uh, you know, mimic that bigger forge and catch some big fish. These are awesome glide baits. If you've never fished one, you definitely need to check them out. They've been catching big fish for years and years and years. And now we got some awesome new colors you can only get right here at TW. All right, going to go into some umbrella rigs here from Willow Creek. So um, a whole new series of umbrella rigs from Willow Creek. Uh, they have probably five or six new rigs. Um, really cool, really HD rigs. Um, they got everything from their, your more basic rigs, you know, five wire, six wires. This one here is uh, is their one of their Cali rigs. It's got two short wires on it, three long wires. It's got blades, so you know, mimic that flash. You can get it not. You can get non-bladed rigs as well. Uh, one of the more interesting rigs that they got is this live wire rig. So it's a three wire rig, and once you get to the end of the of the standard rigid wires, they have these four inch flexible wires on the end. I thought that was super unique and what that's made to do, it's you're able to fish these rigs through cover, through brush and sticks and uh, standing timber a lot more efficiently than a standard rigid umbrella rig. So these wires allow the baits to kind of move and flex and get over limbs and sticks and stuff like that a lot more efficiently than it would be with just a standard fixed jig head on there. Uh, you can also increase that weedless performance if you put an EWG screw lock style hook on there. But those, uh, those movable wires on the back just helped your baits navigate through some of that cover a little bit more efficiently. So super cool idea. Uh, the blades that they put on all these rigs as well have that kind of hologram shad finish, that sticker on the outside. So looks a little bit more reali realistic, really cool rigs. The last one here, this hog wrestler right here, this, uh, this is called the Magnificent. And what they, they specifically built this rig to fish the Hog Hunter Magnum Trout swim bait. Um, but you can fish any kind of other swim bait you want. You know, any other big eight, 10 inch swim bait, a big giant Kai Tech, a Huddleston Savage Gear, doesn't matter. But they, they specifically made it to fish these Hog Hunter Magnum Trouts. And then up here on the top, there's six wires so you can outfit it with any kind of teasers you want. Uh, just threw a few gamblers on there just to show you guys kind of what it looks like when it's fully rigged up. But you can fish Kitex or you know other kinds of swim baits, whatever you want on there. You can fish little tiny swim baits, fish bigger ones, whatever kind of profile you're looking to, uh, looking to achieve. But when you're fishing this thing, I mean, it just looks like a small little school of bait fish is getting chased by a larger trout or predatory fish. Um, what that's going to do is just trigger that feeding response in bass and just get them to attack, kind of just get them fired up, like how the like how an umbrella rig does. But now you have a big target back there gets them to hit this thing and actually eat it. So if you fish areas where there's a lot of pressure, maybe a lot of other people throw swim baits and you're getting a lot of followers, this is just something different that's gonna help turn some of those following fish into biting fish. So give it a try. We were already playing around with it in the office and I got enough mag trouts that I can't not buy one of these and give it a shot here uh, coming up soon once the water clears up a little bit around here. All right, let's talk about some line here from Beyond Braid. We got two new series of, of line from Beyond Braid. We have their 8X braided line and then their standard 4X. So both of them have a fluoro polymer coating on the outside. So they're gonna have a slick finish. Uh, slick finish helps them fly through the guides a little bit better. Uh, but if you're wondering kind of, you know, which one you should pick up, the 4X or the 8X, your 4X braid is that four strand material that's a little bit, 
it has a little bit rougher texture because it's only four strands of material braided together to make the line. So it has that more traditional standard braid feel to it. This, uh, the 4X is gonna give you a little bit more abrasion resistance. So if you're fishing around a lot of heavy cover rocks, throwing it up in, you know, over dock pilings into wood and stuff like that, you might wanna go with the, uh, the 4X. It's gonna give you a little bit better abrasion resistance and uh, be able to withstand some of those uh, you know, heavy cover areas that you wanna fish at. The 8X, uh, the 8X braid, this is the one that's, it's made with eight strands of material. It's woven at a little bit steeper angle and then you're gonna get that more round, more slick finish. So you can't really feel any of the, the braids, you know, the, the weaving as you're, uh, as you're touching it. You can't feel any of that weaving going through there. So it's really slick, really smooth. Um, that type of braid I prefer on like my spinning setups or stuff that I'm casting and reeling a lot. So maybe not like your flipping stuff, your flipping setup, but stuff that you're winding, making a lot of casts with, spinning rods, uh, the ADEX seems to be a little bit better option. So two new, two different options of braid from Beyond Braid, got them in a few different colors as well. Check those out. Now we got some stuff from Bass Tricks. So uh, Bass Tricks has been uh, rebought recently and they're, uh, they're bringing back some of their old stuff. So we got some new colors in the paddle tail swim baits. Uh, and a few of the other existing uh, products that we already carry. And then they're bringing out a few new things as well. So this first one here is their, is their flash tricks, and then the, or excuse me, the live tricks, and then the live tricks head. Uh, this is a really cool combo. You match this up and you can do, uh, it's made to fish uh, Demiki rigging or hover strolling when you're vertical jigging over fish that are, that are right underneath your sonar. The way, uh, the weight on that jig head on there uh, it keeps it to where when you drop it straight down that weight that's back here down the shank of the hook, it keeps your bait in that perfectly horizontal position. And then they got trailers to match up with the heads. Uh, these are really cool little trailers. There's going to be other stuff you're going to be able to do with these um, besides, uh, besides do, um, fishing with the jig head. These are going to be great on like a drop shot and some of the things we were already thinking about doing. Maybe a real small finesse scrounger head or really small, uh, really small like finesse chatterbait be a good trailer for those as well. Really cool little baits. And then we have uh, their Flash Tricks trailer. They got these in two different sizes. Again, something that's gonna be really good on a drop shot. You can fish them on a little, uh, little Ned head. Just really, you know, highly realistic, deadly little baits. Um, gonna be great if you have more clear water situations. And then we have the Mini Tricks. So, tiny, tiny little bait. I've actually seen people catch big bass on these things and, uh, and kind of kept it quiet for a long, long time. So you can fish it on like a little number four uh, nose hook, deadly little bait, but they also have a mini tricks head that matches up with these as well. They actually got the hooks uh, uh, sized perfectly for these. So if you want to fish it on a little jig head and fish for crappie, panfish, uh, you know, any kind, of, any kind of fish like that, uh, these are gonna be ones you want to throw in your arsenal. All right, got a few new uh, soft plastics from Depths. So, this first one here is the BM Hog Creature Bait. Uh, one of the cooler soft plastics I've seen in a long time. So large, streamlined body, so you, uh, you can thread this thing onto a jig. You can put a big EWG in there. It's gonna hold probably a five or six odd hook in there, no problem. But these reversed legs that are on there, when this thing's falling through the water column, because these legs are reversed, it's gonna have a really aggressive kicking action since they're gonna have to bend all the way around forward and then start kicking. They're just gonna, it's gonna move a lot more water and just kick a lot more when you're, you know, flipping into bushes, fishing on the back of a jig, anything like that. And then when it comes down to rest on the bottom, they're gonna snap back into place and have a real finesse style action. Just a new kind of style craw creature bait. Definitely wanna check that out from depths. The next one here is their Bumble Shad. You know, everyone fishes a, uh, you know, paddle tail swim bait. They did theirs a little bit differently. First off, it's a dual structure or a dual density soft plastic. So the bottom of it has a ton of salt in it versus the top doesn't have any salt at all. So you can actually fish it on just a straight hook with no weight and it's gonna sink and it's gonna stay perfect. It's gonna keep that belly down and make it run straight. So that's really cool. And then on the sides of it, so starting at the head, you can see they've kind of shaved some of this material down going down uh, the middle of the bait and then it bulges back out near the tail. What that's gonna do, it's gonna keep this bait, in, in addition to the, the stabilizing fin right here on the back, uh, it's gonna keep this bait from rolling side to side. That tail's gonna kick like crazy and then it's gonna get a little bit of head uh, wobble, you know, side to side. 
So instead of your bait kind of rolling back and forth like a lot of the battle tails out there on the market, it's gonna stay straight and kind of swim back and forth. A really cool design, something I would have never thought of. Just, you know, shaving those sides down and the way they mold the bait to get it to swim like that. Got a big hook pocket on there so you can fish it on a screw lock. Any kind of hook you want and you can fish it perfectly weedless. You can fish it up on a jig head just as well. We got a bunch of really cool colors. You want to check that one out from depths. All right, from Ashmore Marine, we actually got a bunch of new stuff. Uh, some of the stuff's actually already sold out, but we wanted to uh, show you guys a few of the things that we just brought in. So the first one here is our new Mega Handle. It's a trolling motor replacement handle. So some of the trolling motors don't always come with the best handles on them. Uh, Ashmore Marine is giving you nice, solid handle, big, wide opening on it. I got finger grooves on there. And you can replace that trolling motor handle. Maybe, maybe you stepped on it and broke your original one and you need a replacement. You got like a, you know, your rope tied up in a knot or something like that. Uh, that will fix it. And they can only come in, they think they come in like $38.99. So easy upgrade to add to your trolling motor. And the next one is their uh, stop switch station. So they have it in a station or you can get singles if you want to mount your, uh, your stomp pads in different locations. So these are made to, to mount up with the, uh, uh, the power pole stomp switch pad. So if you got shallow water anchors and you need uh, somewhere to mount those things, not only does it get it up off the carpet a little bit, but it actually gives you a little bit of an angle. So it raises it up, puts a little bit of angle on there, just a little bit easier to use them versus having them mounted directly onto the carpet. So if you're on shallow water anchors and you need the little station to put those uh, stomp switches, Ashmore Marine's got a nice option for you there. All right, new rod from Mega Bass. So this is the Mega Bass. Uh, Valkyrie World Expedition Series. This is a travel series of rods. It actually comes in this nice travel case. It's a four-piece rod design, uh, so it breaks down nice. If you're a traveling angler and you're looking for a high-quality, top-notch rod, uh, we just got these in. Uh, Mega Bass has had these for a little while, just taking us uh, some time to get them into Tackle Warehouse. So they break down real nice, uh, four sections. Uh, the blanks on these, they're using a, a combination of a really sensitive graphite material or carbon material and then uh, a glass material as well. So they are composite blanks. They don't feel like an old school composite blank though. They're really, really light and sensitive. So you're going to get all that, uh, that sensitivity and lightness from the carbon in them, but they're going to be really, really strong and durable with the glass that they, uh, that they put in those blanks as well. And then they put double foot guides all the way up. So again, just built for the traveling angler that you know wants to travel around and fish for all kinds of exotic species of fish. Um, you know these are built, uh, you know, built to take the abuse of, of traveling around. Down on the the reel seat, they have a double locking reel seat, so it really locks those reels into place. They've got a bunch of really cool actions in these rods. Everything I believe down to a five foot eight up to an eight foot. So you know, small lightweight rod for you know small flukes, small hard baits. Uh, if you want to, if you need a shorter rod to kind of flip in those little holes in mangrove, stuff like that, they got you covered all the way up to eight foot heavy action swim bait rod. If you want to go chase musky, uh, peacock bass, and you know, all kinds of, you know, GTs, whatever you want. They've kind of got a rod that fits the bill for everything. They've got spinning rods as well. So I believe between the casting and the spinning, we're looking at about eight or nine different models. Really cool series of rods there from Mega Bass. Last up. Some more TW exclusives, we got some new magnets. So uh, just something else that we brought in to add to our Tackle Warehouse lineup. We got a whole new series of magnets. We got the small little guys for the refrigerator. We got them in the same colors as these bigger ones. Uh, so if you want a little refrigerator magnet, and then we have uh, the vehicle magnets as well. So a little bit bigger size. We got the round, uh, the round version, a couple square options, uh, different designs. So if you're looking for some TW magnets, want to stick them over on the, on the, the fridge in the garage, on your truck, whatever you want, we got some sweet magnets for you. That's gonna wrap up today's episode of What's New in Tackle Warehouse. For more information or to purchase any of these products seen here today, click shop or link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most excited about.